Hey everyone, welcome back to the Upper Games YouTube channel. My name is Ralph, this is the Hand of Merlin. In the previous episode we came to a crossroads where we had to choose between going to this heroic node with extreme danger or to Stonehenge with extreme danger. I'm actually uh, very tempted to go to uh, Stonehenge, see uh, what that looks like. Long before you reach the Circle of Stones itself, you can feel Stonehenge on the horizon. It's overwhelming power bleeding through Merlin's mind into your own. Next to the Grail, this is perhaps the greatest of Merlin's instruments. Halt! A rough voice calls out from the mist. You're trespassing on the King's personal property, turn back immediately. None of your business, trespasser, the voice says angrily. Do as I say or you will die. But we tell him the king has sent us. <laughs> Those are 50% chance. Yeah, it worked. Great. I'm a messenger sent by the king himself, Merwin calls out. Here, see, I carry the holy grail. Who but a herald of Dagonet could do so? You are ordered to leave Stonehenge immediately and return to Camelot. It's true, that's the grail, I've seen it. Another voice says from the mist, we better go. With the black guards gone, Stonehenge is quiet, the great stones standing like silent sentinels in the early morning mist. But every now and then you catch glimpses of the power emanating from within them. It is hypnotic, swirling around you in dizzying spirals. You sense an unusual... Blah, blah, blah. You sense an unusual hesitance in Merlin, as if he can no longer quite remember how Stonehenge functions, or how to take control of it. Perhaps the memory was lost when he was imprisoned. It's still possible to draw on the power of Stonehenge, but to do so would be risky. Yeah, we're gonna draw on it. A planar... wow, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> 50-50, folks. What could possibly go wrong? A planar eruption. I, I think we just destroyed the planet. With Morgan as a conduit, Merlin's spirit reaches out and touches the stream of energy that flows through all the many stone hinges in infinity. But suddenly, somewhere between the worlds, there is an eruption of some unknown force and Morgan is thrown back, his hands scorched. You set out to leave when suddenly, without warning, the ground shakes and the air itself seems to bend, twisting your vision. When your eyes recover, an old man is standing before you. His bright blue eyes seem to glow with power, and his robe is the color of the sky and a long dead world. Merlin! He bellows. You are alive! How remarkable! Did Morgana let you out of her trap? The sound of this voice is overwhelming, driving tears of agony to your eyes. When Merlin speaks through you, your ears begin to bleed. You fall to the ground. You did? The figure says, impressive. You are always a very stubborn creature. I would enjoy studying you. What has happened to Morgana? The figure shrugs. I haven't seen her in a few centuries, relatively speaking. I can stay away from her. She grew too bitter for my taste after all her echelons died. You cannot run forever, Atlantis. I cannot, he laughs, and you clasp your hands over your ears in desperation. I've been running a thousand times a thousand years. Let's not forget I helped you. Without my studies, what would we know of the Cataclysm? Nothing. I am too weak to fight alone, Atlantis. I can see that. Even your memory seems affected, no wonder. You wielded so much power and have all that shattered. Well, it would have broken me for sure. For the sake of our friendship, such as it is, let me help you recover some of your strength. Here, let your pawns take this essence. He reaches out his hand and your pain stops. You feel Merlin grow stronger. Thank you, Atlantis. So we gain one mana and one essence. Alright. You unlocked your first essence. You can now unlock additional spells in the core, seen uh, on the top right of the screen. As you progress through the game, you may even unlock a new guardian with their own unique set of spells. Alright. 
You're welcome, old friend. The sorcerer is beginning to fade now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Watch out for Morgana. She hates you like only someone who's loved you can hate you. Your ears are ringing and your hands are shaking. After this experience, you will need to rest. Let's uh, recover before continuing. Uh, so, we have a bestiary bookmark updated. What does that do exactly? Oh, okay, that's uh, the Mandrake. Though it resembles a plant, this vile perversion of nature has nothing in common with the gentle, sun-loving vegetation of our pleasant earth. Beware when you hear its abominable cry, and beware twice when at last your sword rids our plane of this ghoulish shrub. For even in death it will attempt to drag your soul into the underworld by releasing its wretched innards. We've got the Wyvern, outrageously disregarding all natural laws. This hellish creature levitates above the ground, its revolting appendages hanging hideously below. By this unseemingly power of flight, it closes in rapidly on its poor victims who cannot be saved even by the sturdiest armor. And still I killed it with a shield bash, I think. The Red Cap, what mad god, what deranged catonic demon could dream up such a creature? This ghastly ocular horror dragging its absurd body across the ground and soiling the land with its malignant mucus is truly the most laughable parody of life imaginable. But do not underestimate its power. Its long limbs will strike out at you. When its evil gaze turns upon you, the beast will know your every move. Okay, and then we have an essence available, so uh, these are the spells that you can uh, choose in the game. I, I think I chose these two at the start of the game, I, that was uh, not recorded, but... Um, so let's see, what can we do? Stasis, uh, apply two stacks of stasis to all enemies, disrupt actions. They cannot act, oh that is so powerful. Then there is Translocation, teleport to a target position, there is Warp, create a space of localized space-time distortion, applying one stack of negative warp to enemies and one stack of positive warp to allies inside it. So we gain uh, an extra uh, action point and the enemies lose an action point. Evasion grants 7 stacks of evading to all allies, that is also quite powerful. And then Thunderbolt deal 15 damage to an enemy. I I kind of like uh, the stasis spell. Can we uh, unlock this? Yes, please. So, where are we off to next? Let's see, there is a regular note here. We still uh, have not seen that uh, heroic note, so I'm thinking maybe in this episode I will take this uh, regular note and then go to the heroic note and that would be this episode then, I guess. Your journey has brought you to a village. On the town square you find a number of stalls where traders peddle their wares. It's a market day. Children are weaving in and out of the crowd playing a game of tag never seen a night before, says a little girl, stopping as she runs past you with her two friends. Will you play with us? Are those really knights? I didn't know knights smelled so much. <laughs> Wait, what? So you want us to play with you and then you insult us? Uh, yeah, let us play with the children, uh, What, whatever happens there. The girl claps her hands in delight. We're playing cat and mouse. She cocks her head at you. You know what that, how that's played? You tell her that any hero worth his salt knows how to play the game. She seems satisfied with that answer. Ready? Well, ready or not. Uh, dashing forward and slapping on the arm. You're the cat! Alright, let's uh, see what happens here. None. So I guess we didn't catch anyone. The children are swift and nimble and try as you will, you fail to catch any of them. After the game a man approaches you, I thank you for indulging them. Most who pass through, just ignore them. Let me give you a little something for your kindness. And we gain uh, two supplies. Alright, well, that's something.
Uh, we we can't seem to go to the heroic note, really. Why not? Not quite sure what the reason for that is. Um, there is a heroic note over there and over here. So how about we we head in that direction then? The road to Corbenic has brought you to the castle of Joyous Guard, where Sir Lancelot once reigned. It has long been a peaceful place, wreathed in sorrow since Lancelot's departure many years ago. Its lord, Sir Lionel the Cripple, rarely ventures from his chambers, but now it seems the castle is under attack. Well, we can't have that, can we? Servants are fleeing the castle in terror, the gate is open, and in the courtyard a fire is beginning to spread. A lady of the castle approaches you, her dress in tethers. Please help us! They've come to slay Sir Lionel! They would have slain me too, but a commoner saved my life! Well, let's help the lady to safety first. As she is clearly a target of the attackers, you advise the lady to flee, but she's willing to go no further. A man whose name I do not know died for me today. I'm ashamed of that and I will not abandon Sir Lionel. Okay, well. The guards have been slain, you suspect that they were taken by surprise. The gate has not been broken down, so perhaps someone opened it from the inside. Oh, let's see if we can find another entrance. Yeah, that might be interesting. At the back of the castle, a ladder stands against the wall. This is how the assailants must have breached the defenses, opening the gate from within. You could climb up this way, presuming the men inside don't notice your approach. Well, maybe we can, maybe we can't. We can. Okay, great. You carefully climb up the ladder without being noticed. From there, you can see the attackers gathered in the castle hall looking for Sir Lionel. Let's ambush them. You manage to ambush your enemy. You can take your time, position your units. When one of your units steps on a reveal tile, your enemies will have a reveal turn before you continue with just one uh, action point. Uh, so we can place them somewhere. Let's see. One, there is four of them. That is reveal. Let's have him move over there. We are probably not going to be doing a lot. Uh, we haven't been revealed yet either. Let us uh, do this for the end of this turn. And see what happens. Revealing in three turns, okay? So... Two of them are back there, so we should uh, we should take this opportunity to take down these guys. Man, why are they so far away? We can really not not move very much. Okay, so how about we move over here and then shoot this guy? The Grenadier. Well, no, now they know we're here. Let's get uh, Brenner up here. How about we do our shield block? And then... Let us move Morgan up here and then hopefully we can uh, singe this guy as well. Okay, well, they took down our armor uh, immediately. Okay, they're shooting Morgan. Oh, 
Okay, so if I'm moving, I'm taking armor damage again, but I do want to go here. I want to get rid of this guy. Luckily, that was a miss. Let's whack this guy. How about we move over here with Merowyn? That is 4 damage, but if we use our specialty arrow, we can kill this guy. And then we're gonna need to move out of the way here as well with um, Morgan. And then give some armor back to Merowyn. Alright, we're evading a good bunch of stuff, so now we need to get um, into this guy's grill, because he's, he clearly is the, the armored one. So let's go over here, let's attack him. That did a good chunk. Morgan. Let's blight that guy. There we go. And then singe the guy. And then we gain some armor back, which is great. And then, how about we cannot shoot this guy? Really? Why can't we shoot this guy? We are gonna need to uh, take care of some of these uh, grenadiers, so let's start with that one. Probably gonna cost me. Maroon might go down actually. Yep, one more arrow, and we are done. All right, Brenner, it is time to do more damage. That is damage. Let's do your uh, resistance thingy. Um, we could cinch him again. And then give her some armor, but uh, yeah. Let's see if we give her armor. What what is that gonna do? Gives eight armor, and now if she moves out of the way, she takes five armor damage. And can she still shoot? She has her specialty arrow, but it doesn't really do an enormous amount. Yep, I think we're losing Merowyn here. Yep, down she goes.
Let's see. Got another shot coming in. Keen plus two. Uh, so if I go here, it's three armor damage. Yeah, so be it. We uh, we need to get rid of that guy. He is down at least. Uh, we could blight nobody. We can also singe nobody. How about we move here? And then... Let us singe, uh, let us blight that guy. And we might actually lose another character. That's a miss, that was lucky. Now if I move in here, I'm taking more damage again. If I go here, I can... Uh, attack this guy. And that is not enough to kill him, unfortunately. Man, that sucks. Okay, uh, let's see, what can I do? Oh yes, yeah, stasis, yeah, that's right. Uh, we could give them a don't attack. Let's cause that spell. Yeah, maybe should have done that a bit earlier. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> okay, so I can kill this guy now. There we go. And then with, uh, let's see, with Brenner, let us run over here and start whacking this fool. It's another miss. That is a good thing. Let's do some more damage. Let's bash him. And now can we still cinch him? No, we need to move. Let us move up. And cinch him. There we go. So we lost a hero and a relic. After you've slain the attacker, Sir Lionel comes out of hiding. His face is disfigured by terrible scars received in the Battle of Camlin, and his single eye is full of tears. A terrible day, he whispers, such a terrible day, but light amidst the darkness. Thank you. So who are the uh, attackers? They were sent here by Sir Gaharis, he says sadly. They hate between our families has not ceased since Lancelot's Lewis brother Sir Garrett. Though it was an accident and Lancelot regretted it bitterly, even Arthur could not stem that hate and it ended his kingdom. He sighs, but these old tragedies are not your concern. You should be rewarded for your actions. I think it's gonna be a bit problematic to tackle a heroic node with just two of us. Here we can actually get Renown. Here, what are we gonna... Oh, here we can find a hero. Okay, how about we go there? The corruption of the Cataclysm has come to this valley in a strange form. It is diffuse, spread thin, killing the land in small increments. The lord of this land has therefore ordered that all peasants must leave at once, and now only he is left guarding his castle by himself. Sir Rymel of Loventel, better known as the Contrary Knight, is famed for his rudeness. Today, however, it seems he has found someone more rude than even himself. When you enter his castle, you find a hermitess, berating him in a loud voice. 
I've come all the way from Marca Hispanica to await Merlin's champions, she roars. You are a knight of Camelot, which means you served Arthur, and so Merlin. Therefore it falls upon you to treat me with respect. If you do not wish to become a eunuch in your old age. <laughs> Sir Rymel seems relieved to see you and quickly retires to his chambers. Let us set out immediately, the woman says. I'm Isabel and I've already talked enough today. And uh, we can recruit Isabel. The campaign surgeon, okay. Well, I think with that and three episodes into this let's play, I think uh, I'm gonna end the, the let's try of the Hand of Merlin. You should have a good idea now what this game is going to offer you. As always, there is a link in the description where you can grab the game. It is currently still in early access. The release is supposed to be spring 2022, so that could be in the upcoming weeks or months. If you're enjoying this game, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see me do more of these Let's Tries of upcoming games. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.